I seem to screw up every job I get, really. Even my first job, I worked at Canada's Wonderland as a ride operator. Right? I worked on this ride, two people at a time would uh, they'd get on either side of me on a sled, I'd press a button and it would send them down this really steep drop. It was an intimidating ride. But one day I had a group of about 39-year-old French school children from Quebec got on the ride, and their teacher went on first to show them there was nothing to be afraid of. And she said, oh, could you make sure the kids are ready? They're really scared. And I said, sure, of course. She said, yeah, but they don't speak English. So how you say, are you ready in French is you say, et tout prêt. And I said, et tout prêt, et tout prêt, okay, I got it. Then I sent the teacher down the ride. The teacher left. That's all the French she taught me. It's not enough. I was just 19 years old. There were 300 people in line total. I wanted to keep line going. I got in trouble later that day. My supervisor pulls me over and says, tell me about these French school children. I said, yeah, they were great. I asked each and every one of them, et tu prêt? That means, are you ready in French? And she said, okay, but uh, what if the kids weren't ready? <laughs> well, I don't speak French. I let them go anyway. Because <laughs> after I sent the teacher down the ride, two of the kids got on the ride, and I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then the kids said, uh, something in French. <laughs> and then I said, Okay, have fun! And I said, screaming down the ride. And then two more kids got on the ride. I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then these two, they started yelling gibberish at me. And I thought, well, they seem like they're having fun. And I sent them down the ride, too. And then two more kids got on the ride. you think at some points the kids would stop getting on the goddamn ride. But they were only nine years old, there were people behind them in line yelling like, get a move on! So they kept getting on the ride, and then I tricked them into thinking I spoke French, and then they begged to get off the ride, and then I'd laugh and I'd send them down anyway. It was like some kind of JFL gags joke where neither side was in on the joke. Once in a while, I'd throw in the rest of my French, you know, I'd say, Je m'appelle Thomas, before I sent them down. In my defense, if they had been yelling things like, No, 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 or, or Je suis terrified, or something, I would have clued in. But they thought I spoke French, so if you translate the whole interaction to English, Two of the kids would get on the ride and I'd say, are you ready? Are you ready? And then they'd say stuff in French like, oh, thank God, you speak French. I don't want to go on this ride. None of us want to go on this ride. Why do you keep sending us down? Are you insane? And then I'd say, my name's Thomas. And I'd say, I shouldn't have told them my name, pretty sure that's how my supervisor found out about it. Guys, I wrote that joke for JFL. Uh, I didn't get invited to JFL, but I wrote that joke for them. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the Thomas Calvin. But you gotta be careful. I learned my first job I got in trouble because I worked at Canada's Wonderland as a ride operator, right? And I worked on Pharaoh's Falls. That's this, uh, this uh, basically, it's not there anymore. The operator stood here, you had, uh, on either side of you, you had a ramp. People would grab sleds, get on the ramp, and you'd press the button, and it'd send them down like a vertical drop, and then they'd skid along water at the bottom. Yeah, it was a pretty intimidating ride. But one day, uh, I had like uh, 30 French school children from Quebec. They were like 10 years old, and they lined up to get on the ride, and they were really scared of this. And the teacher went on first to show them there's nothing to be afraid of. And she goes, hey, could you just make sure the kids are ready before you send them down? They're really frightened. I said, yeah, sure, of course. She said, yeah, but they don't speak uh, English. So how you say, are you ready in French? You say, et tu prêt. And I was like, okay, et tu prêt, et tu prêt, I got it. And then the teacher left, right? But that's all the French she taught me. So I sent these kids down two at a time. I'd go, et tu prêt, et tu prêt, and I'd send them down. And then later that day, my supervisor pulls me aside. And she says, uh, tell me about these French school children. I said, oh yeah, they were great. And she said, yeah, but did you make sure they were ready? I said, yeah, I actually I asked each and every one of them. I said, et tu prêt? And I said, that means, uh, are you ready in French? 
And she goes, oh, oh, can I ask you something? Like, what if they weren't ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't speak French. I just let them go anyway, you know? <laughs> I mean, they said things to me, you know? In my defense, if they had said things like, no, 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 or je suis terrified or something, <laughs> I probably would have clued in. But here's the problem. They thought I spoke French. So I'd say, are you ready in French? And then in French, apparently, they were saying things like, actually, I'm having second thoughts about this. I really don't want to go. Please don't press that button. And I'd stare at them blankly and go, okay, have fun. And I'd send them down the fucking way. And it was I. And uh, my supervisor goes, well, the teacher tells me they were yelling at you. I was like, oh, yeah, they were screaming all sorts of nonsense. Uh, I thought they were having fun, you know? And uh, I don't, you think they'd smarten up and stop getting on the ride, but it's like we were all playing a practical joke on them because there were people behind them in line yelling at them, like, get a move on! Right? So they kept getting on the ride, and then I'd jump in and pretend I spoke French, and they were like, oh, thank God, this guy speaks French, and then I'd send them down the ride. Sometimes I'd yell, je m'appelle Thomas! As I sent them down, <laughs> threw the rest of my French in there, which is probably how my supervisor found out about it, now that I think about it. But you gotta be careful when you learn just one phrase in another language, uh, don't do anything important with that phrase. And I learned this at my first job, I worked at Canada's Wonderland. I worked on a, a ride called Pharaoh's Falls, really intimidating ride. Two people at a time would ride it, just send you down these slopes. It was scary, but one day a bunch of French school children lined up to get on and they were like nine years old. There were like 30 of them. And they were really scared of this ride, and the teacher got on first to show them there was nothing to be afraid of. And she goes, uh, oh, uh, could you make sure the kids are ready? And I said, yeah, I was 19. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll make sure the kids are ready. And she goes, oh, but they don't speak English, so how you say are you ready in French is you say et tout prêt. And I was like, okay, et tout prêt, I got it. And then I sent the teacher down the ride. The teacher left. But that's all the French she taught me. <laughs> she taught me just enough French to trick a bunch of nine-year-olds into thinking I spoke French. So I brought these kids two at a time up. I'd say, et tu prêt, et tu prêt. And then they would say something in French. <laughs> And then I'd say, okay, have fun, and I'd send them screaming down the fucking ride. For 20 straight minutes, I sent screaming French school children down this ride. And in my defense, if they had been saying things like, no, 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 or je suis terrified, or something, I like to think I would have clued in. But they thought I spoke French. So apparently what was going on was I'd say, et tu pain? And then they were saying things like, oh, thank God, you speak French. <laughs> I really don't want to go down this ride. Please let me off. <laughs> and then I'd laugh and send them down the ride. <laughs> to think they stopped getting on the ride, but there were people behind them and they're like, get a move on. And they were just nine years old. <laughs> they kept getting on the ride, and then I kept tricking them into thinking I know French, and then they begged to get off the ride, and then I'd send them down. It was like some kind of JFL gags joke that went way too far. And I, I found out what they were saying later, because my supervisor pulled me over. She said, hey, tell me about these French kids earlier today. I got a complaint. I was like, oh yeah, they were great. You know, I asked each and every one of them, et tu pray. And then I bragged, I'm like, that means are you ready in French? And she said, oh, what if they weren't ready? Well, I don't speak French. I said, no. <laughs> she said, well, the teacher told me they were yelling at you. Oh, oh, yeah, they were screaming all sorts of nonsense. <laughs> I thought they were having fun, you know? Once in a while, I'd throw in the last of my French, you know? Je m'appelle Thomas! <laughs> Probably how my supervisor found out about it, now that I think back. I like to think those kids still remember me. You can't learn just one phrase in another language and then have an important conversation, though. I learned this my first job. I worked at Canada's Wonderland on a ride called Pharaoh's Falls, and it just two people at a time would be set down this steep drop. It was a scary ride. But one day I had a bunch of French school children from Quebec line up to get on the ride, and they were like nine years old. There were like 30 of them, and the teacher went on first to show them there was nothing to be afraid of. 
So the teacher said, oh, could you do me a favor? Just make sure the kids are ready. They're really scared. And I said, sure, of course. She said, yeah, but they don't speak English. So uh, how do you say, are you ready in French? You say, et tu prêt. And I said, et tu prêt, et tu prêt. Okay, I got it. And then I sent the teacher down the ride. The teacher left. And that's all the French she taught me. <laughs> she taught me just enough French to trick a bunch of nine-year-olds into thinking I spoke French. It would have been better if she had taught me no French. Because right? I brought these kids up two at a time, and I'd go, et tu prêt, et tu prêt. And then the kids would say something in French. <laughs> and then I'd say, okay, have fun. <laughs> and I'd send them screaming down the ride. For 20 straight minutes, I sent frightened and confused French school children down this ride two at a time. In my defense, if they had been yelling things like, uh, no, 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 or, uh, or je suis terrified, something like that, I would have clued in. But they thought I spoke French. So they were saying things like, oh, thank God you speak French. I don't want to die. Please don't send me down this ride. And then I'd laugh and I'd send them down the ride anyway. You think they'd stop getting on the ride, but they were nine years old. People behind them are like, yeah, get a move on, right? So they kept getting on the ride, and then I'd jump in, trick them into thinking I know French, and then they'd beg to get off the ride, and then I'd laugh and I'd send them down. It was like some kind of JFL gags joke that got way out of hand, you know? And then I only learned what they were saying later because my supervisor pulled me over later that day. She said, tell me about these, uh, these French kids earlier today. I said, oh yeah, they were great. I asked each and every one of them, et tu prêt? And I said, that means are you ready in French? And my supervisor said, oh, that's great. But let me ask, what if the kids weren't ready? Uh, I don't speak French. I just <laughs> sent them down anyway. As per company policy, you know? Once in a while, I'd throw in the rest of my French, Je m'appelle Thomas! <laughs> uh, which is probably how my supervisor found out about it, thinking back. But I like to think those kids still remember me. That's been my time, guys. Thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, I like to learn languages, foreign languages in my spare time. It's a hobby. Not the whole thing, just a phrase or two. <laughs> Enough to make me feel worldly, I guess. I have learned don't try to have any kind of important conversation unless you're completely fluent in another language. I learned this at my first job. Uh, when I was 19, I worked at Canada's Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I worked on a ride called uh, Pharaoh's Falls. It's uh, not there anymore, but basically two people at a time would ride it and send you down this steep hill. It was a scary ride. But one day, uh, about 30 French school children from Quebec, they were about nine years old, they lined up to get on the ride. And the teacher got on first to show them there was nothing to be afraid of. And she said, could you make sure the kids are really scared? Could you make sure they're ready? And I said, of course. And she said, yeah, but they don't speak English. So how you say, are you ready in French, is you say, et tu prêt? And I said, et tu prêt, okay, I got it. And then I sent the teacher down the ride. The teacher left, but that's all the French she taught me. She taught me just enough French to trick a bunch of nine-year-olds into thinking I spoke French. It would have been better if she had taught me no French. Because I got in trouble for this later that day. My supervisor pulls me aside. She says, tell me about these French school children. I said, yeah, they were great. I asked each and every one of them. Et tu prêt? That means, are you ready in French? And my supervisor said, uh, okay, well, what if they weren't ready? Well, I don't speak French. I, just, <laughs> I let them go anyway, right? Because after I sent the teacher down, two kids got on the ride. And I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then the kids said, something in French. <laughs> and then I said, okay, have fun. And I sent them screaming down the ride. And then two more kids got on and I said, et tu prêt, et tu prêt. And these two started screaming gibberish at me. I figured if they seem like they're having fun and I sent them down the ride too. And then two more kids got on I mean, you think they'd stop getting on at a certain point. 
but they were only nine years old. There were people behind them in line, get a move on. So they felt obligated to get on the ride, and then I would trick them into thinking I spoke French. And then they would beg to get off the ride, and then I'd laugh and I'd send them down the ride anyway. For 20 straight minutes, I sent frightened and confused French school children down this ride, two at a time. It was like some kind of JFL gags joke that went way too far. Once in a while, I'd yell at the rest of my friends, Je m'appelle Thomas, you know? It's a weird thing to yell at. In my defense, if they had been yelling things like, non, 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 or je suis terrified, or something, I would have clued in, right? But they thought I spoke French. So if you translate the whole uh, interaction to English, they were getting on the ride, and I said, are you ready? And they said, oh, thank God, you speak French. I don't want to die, let me off this ride. And then I'd laugh, send them down the ride, and say, my name's Thomas! Which is probably how my supervisor found out about it, thinking back. I like to think those kids still remember me, though. Guys, thank you very much for listening. We have a great night. I seem to screw up every job I get, really. Even my first job, I worked at Canada's Wonderland as a ride operator. And I worked on this ride, two people at a time would uh, they'd get on either side of me on a sled, I'd press a button and it would send them down this really steep drop. It was an intimidating ride. But one day I had a group of about 39-year-old French school children from Quebec got on the ride, and their teacher went on first to show them there was nothing to be afraid of. And she said, oh, could you make sure the kids are ready? They're really scared. And I said, sure, of course. She said, yeah, but they don't speak English. So how you say, are you ready in French is you say, et tu prêt. And I said, et tu prêt, et tu prêt, okay, I got it. Then I sent the teacher down the ride. The teacher left. That's all the French she taught me. It's not enough. I was just 19 years old. There were 300 people in line total. I wanted to keep line going. I got in trouble later that day. My supervisor calls me over and says, tell me about these French school children. I said, yeah, they were great. I asked each and every one of them, et tu prêt? That means, are you ready in French? And she said, okay, but uh, what if the kids weren't ready? <laughs> well, I don't speak French. I don't go anyway. Because <laughs> after I sent the teacher down the ride, two of the kids got on the ride, and I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then the kids said, uh, something in French. <laughs> and then I said, Okay, have fun! And I said, I'm screaming down the ride. And then two more kids got on the ride. I said, et tu prêt? Et tu prêt? And then these two, they started yelling, gibberish at me. And I thought, well, they seem like they're having fun, and I sent them down the ride too. And then two more kids got on the ride. You'd think at some points the kids would stop getting on the goddamn ride. But they were only nine years old. There were people behind them in line yelling, like, get a move on. So they kept getting on the ride. And then I tricked them into thinking I spoke French. And then they begged to get off the ride. And then I'd laugh and I'd send them to come anyway. It was like some kind of JFL gags joke where neither side was in on the joke. Once in a while, I'd throw in the rest of my French, you know, I'd say, je m'appelle Thomas before I sent them down. In my defense, if they had been yelling things like, no, 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 or, or je suis terrified or something, I would have clued in. But they thought I spoke French, so if you translate the whole interaction to English, Two of the kids would get on the ride and I'd say, are you ready? Are you ready? And then they'd say stuff in French like, oh, thank God, you speak French. I don't want to go on this ride. None of us want to go on this ride. Why do you keep sending us down? Are you insane? And then I'd say, my name's Thomas. And I'd say, <laughs> I shouldn't have told them my name, pretty sure that's how my supervisor found out about it. Guys, I wrote that joke for JFL. 
Uh, I didn't get invited to JFL, but I wrote that joke for them. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the